Crazy, I'm back again with another video. Okay, this time I'm going to be talking about Kanika Jenkins, her death scene photos were released on Friday. If you don't know about what happened with Kanika Jenkins, Kanika Jenkins was a 19-year-old young lady out of Chicago. She went to a party at... Um, I think the Crown Plaza Hotel in Chicago. Uh, one, of, one of her friends had booked a room in the hotel. And um, her friends left her in the hallway. When they came back, she was gone. Uh, surveillance video was uh, released. And she was seen, you know, stumbling, walking around. She was clearly dr drunk. And they found her body the next day in a freezer. Okay. Now, with the photos... Of Kanika Jenkins dead. She's wearing the same outfit, guys. She's she's wearing the jean jacket. She's wearing the jean. She's wearing the same outfit that we saw her on, on the tape. Okay, she's wearing that same outfit. Her arm is underneath her. She's on she's on her side. She's face down. She has one shoe off. Her top is pulled up, exposing her breasts. Okay, now, that makes no sense, guys. If she went in that freezer, okay, why would she be... Why would her top be up, exposing her breasts? Something does not make sense here, guys. You know, it sounds fishy. I think somebody lured her into that freezer, kill, you know, and, and killed this young lady, and then pulled up her top. Maybe they tried to um sexually assault her or something, because that... Sounds like, you know, somebody was, you know, trying, you know, something on her. Because why would she lift up her own... Why would she lift up her... Sh why would she lift up her shirt, guys, exposing her breasts? Even if she was drunk. That does not make any sense. Okay? Now, um, the police did 135... They got 135 reports... They interviewed 44 people, including 30 people that were at the party. They looked at, you know, dozens of hours of surveillance footage. And they also did a forensic an analysis on four, cell on four cell phones, including Kanika's phone. Okay, so if they have all of this footage, why are they still saying that there is no... They're, they're saying that there is no direct, no, they're saying that they're saying, okay, they, they're basically saying there's no direct, there's no footage directly showing Kanika going into the freezer, okay? I think that is bull crap. I think they have that footage and they just don't want to admit they. They, they don't want to admit it. The police does not want to admit that somebody in that hotel killed this girl. I think she was, um, you know, well, it was, it's clear she was wandering, you know, stumbling around drunk. Maybe, maybe somebody who worked in the hotel saw her, lured her into, into the freezer. Maybe tried, maybe tried to rape her, whatever, whatever happened, you know, because as I said, her shirt was up. But, um... Yet still, they're saying there's no direct footage of her entering the freeze. I think they deleted that footage when they showed that to, when they showed the footage to her family. How you don't have footage of her entering the freezer? We, we we see her in the kitchen in the surveillance video, but they're saying they have no video of her going into the freezer. I think that's bullcrap, and I think her mother does have a case because if they were really watching those cameras wouldn't they have seen her stumbling around in the hallway why didn't they call 911 why didn't they do anything the crown plaza hotel is at full for all of this you know and i blame the friends too because if they were really your friends they would have left her in the hallway knowing that she's intoxicated and then they did find drugs in her system okay somebody put Medication in her drink. The medication is for epilepsy and migraines. Her mother says she never suffered from epilepsy or migraines. Or migraines. So how did that medicine get into her system? This whole story is very strange, guys. Okay? And the police closed the investigation. They said the death was ruled an um, accident. 
due to um, hypothermia. But I think it's bull crap. I think somebody killed this young lady and the police are just covering it up. I guess they don't want to look... I guess they don't want the hotel to look bad. But who is the Crown Plaza? It, it, it's a hotel. It's a, it's a hotel chain. You know, if they was... As I said, if they were really looking at those cameras, they would have seen her stumbling around in the hallway. Maybe because she's an African-American young lady, they want to close the inv investigation and said that they did like all they could, you know, with, the, with, with looking at footage and interviewing people. I, I don't think the police did enough. Okay? Uh, I think more could have been done. I don't even know why they closed this case. The whole thing makes no sense at all. If you were drunk stumbling around, do you have the strength to open a freezer? I don't think so, guys. I don't think you have that string to open a freezer. It sounds like pure bullcrap here. Okay? Now, they didn't find anything on her cell phone. Because, you know, they checked the cell phones, you know. But I think it's somebody in that hotel. And then they were saying that they there's no footage. Well, they said no one who works in the hotel into that kitchen before she... Um, went missing, and nobody into the kitchen. Yeah, nobody into the kit. Nobody. They said nobody into the kitchen until the time of her um body. Okay, so you're telling me that there's room service in hotels. Okay, so you're telling me nobody into that kitchen. Until after she was found. Because she was found the next... She was found, I think... I think on Sunday or whatever. So nobody into that kitchen all, all, like all day Saturday. That's bullcrap. I don't believe it. I don't believe that, guys. That nobody into that kitchen up until... Until after, you know, the body was found. I think that's just pure bullcrap. Somebody knows something. Somebody is lying. This whole thing is a mystery. And the um Rosemont the Rosemont police definitely need to get to get it together. This whole story makes no sense, guys. From what I'm hearing from the evidence, it's just pure bullcrap. And um I don't think it was um an accident. As I said, I think somebody killed her and put her in that freezer. Okay, that's what I really think happened. Um just leave your comments down below, guys. About what you think about um the latest um on, on this latest um news on um, Kanika Jenkins.